This is called the tow bar. It's for checking in and out of tow rod, um, tie rod end play. So you want to, this is a big part of your wheel alignment issue, okay? So you have caster camber and tow in and tow out. This is going to check your tow in and your tow out. And this is what wears most of your tires most of the time. So if you put a replacement tie rod end on and you didn't count your turns and make any measurements, you're going to want to put a tire uh, a tow bar on there if you can get one. Now this, like I said, I bought it from Cornwall Tools years ago. It's probably around $150 now, but it's well worth it. This is a very usable tool. So, so we center the tool out at zero on the gauge here, okay? And then we're going to slide this around to the back of the toe. You always start doing your toe in from the back wheels. So, slide underneath. Get the slide over. Now you come on this side here. You have to make sure that this slides on the wheel, and it's not tight. It's just it's just right there, okay? And um, so now we go back over. Now this side here is adjustable. So when you center your you center your bar over there on zero. You put your gauge on zero. That's your starting point. And then you, you have this jam nut here where you can slide this out and in. And you slide it up against the tire, and then you tighten it. But you want to make sure, it's, see, now this seems too tight right here. So I'm going to back this off a little bit and get it so I can just slide this on, okay? So now we're going to take and measure the front of the tires. The tire disc, the measurement from the front of the tires should be less than the rear. So when you're sitting behind the seat and you're looking forward, your tires should be dinking in a whisker so that when you're hydroplaning going down the road at about 50 miles an hour, or 55, and the front end starts to lift off the ground because the air's coming under the car, your tires are going to tend to want to flare out. So that's why you always have the toe end set at a 16th in or 530 seconds is what the spec is. So now we can take the tow bar. And we're going to come around to the front and we're going to measure. Now see how easy that slides onto the wheel right there? Now we're going to check this side over here. Make sure the bar is sitting even. It's on there. And I've got this on here. Now this thing could go in a whisker, and there we are. We're at a 16th in or 530 seconds. It's, so if you're at zero or a 16th in, you're right on the money. Now we got the white letter here that we're hitting, sticking out a whisker. So we are good where we are right now. So the toe is properly set on this vehicle, and you will not wear the inside of your tires. Now if you if you get in the vehicle and your steering wheel is not straight, and say your steering wheel is to the right, and it's at one o'clock, but your toe is set accurately now, you would turn your left, your right front wheel, the tie rod in, so that the wheel turned out one turn, and then suck the driver's side wheel in one turn. And if you do even turns, and then recheck with your tow bar, you will get your, your um, steering wheel centered. And that's pretty much all there is about tow. It'll make you a lot of money. It doesn't wear tires. This vehicle, because we have the tow bar, we don't feel the need to get a wheel alignment for this. If you feel comfortable getting a wheel alignment after you do a tie rod in, by all means. But um, if you have a tow bar, it's gonna do the same job. I hope you guys liked the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll reply back. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.